fourth hole is called Ginger Beer, after Old Door Anderson, who used to have a mobile refreshment store on this hole back in the 19th century. Now the hole itself is a very, very difficult, certainly one of the hardest holes on the links. And the reason for that is that we've got very high mounds here on the left hand side, which are covered in rough and also a long way to reach that fairway. But on the right hand side, you can see a much clearer route in, but of course the fairway there is very, very narrow. Now outside of that, we've also got bunkers up the right hand side, which are just out of shot from where we're stood. So the dilemma is, do we go down the safe route which is a shorter hit, but we bring the bunkers into play, or do we take the big long carry over towards the rough there on the left-hand side? Now I'm gonna try and get over that uh, rough on the left-hand side, so it's certainly right on my limits. So I'm gonna need to hit this pretty hard and hope that I get all the way across onto our fairway. Driver in hand, I'll just have a couple of practice swings here. And this is right on my limit, so I'm looking for a good strike with good club head speed and hopefully we'll reach that fairway. It was a good contact, but it's a long way down there. I'm not quite sure if I've made the fairway or not. We're gonna to have to take a look down there to see if we've done exactly that. So our position here illustrates the landing area of this drive very, very nicely. Now you probably can't see from, uh, from that camera angle, but I've got a really poor lie down here because I've not quite made drive all the way to the fairway. But you can see the landing angle that I was talking about here, which is very, very narrow. Much shorter, you can hit a much shorter shot in, but again, those two bunkers there also lying in wait. Now to my right, you can see here that driving position. If I'd have got it all the way down to that fairway, again, it would have been a relatively simple shot then onto the green but I'm about 20 yards short. So I'm gonna to have to take my medicine. I've uh, taken my pitching wedge. It's now all about positioning the ball back down the fairway to then play our third shot on the green and hopefully salvage a par that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it down the right hand side because that gives me a really good angle to our flag. So pitching wedge in hand. So the ball's back into position. I'm gonna have a, a shot of about 120, 130 yards there to my green. And again, I'm gonna to have to salvage par from that position. So as I mentioned, the drive on the hole was very, very difficult. We then needed to lay up and obviously hit our third shot onto the green. But when you're approaching with your second shot, this huge mound in front of the green is very much in your way. If you're hitting a long iron in, and of course you hit the upslope here, it's gonna kill that ball and stop it very, very quickly. If you hit the right side of it, of course it's gonna shoot it off to the right towards the bunker, the left obviously towards the rough on the left hand side of the hole. So quite a unique feature and something you don't see very often in modern golf courses. You see plenty of bunkers, but you don't see many mounds in front of the green. So my approach to the green with my third shot has come up a little bit short. A little bit left, a little bit short. Now the reason it was left is that I know that the green moves from left to right. So again, I was expecting to get it a bit further down there, of course, I'm a bit short, so I've got a long putt here for my par. Really from this distance, it's all about pace control. I've obviously got to get the line right, but the pace control, get it close enough that I can tap my next shot in and obviously escape onto that next tee. So just having a look at this, I can see that it's quite heavily from left to right. It is about 40 to 50 feet. It's quite a long putt, but let's see what we can do here with good pace control. So the ball's rolled down there. That's about a foot and a half from the hole, which is an easy tap in for my bogey. Not ideal, but like I said, a very, very difficult hole. But five on here is no disaster.